In this tutorial, we'll review link constraint. So create simple animation and use bone as your weapon. You can always attach mesh to the bone. So first thing what we need to do is to link our weapon to the character. You can add additional bone or you can link directly to character spine. With the bone selected, assign link constraint. Next, we need to link bone to the biped. So now the bone will follow the biped. Now we transition weapon from biped back to the hand by linking to the word first and then linking again to the character hand. Like with any animation, now I need to go back and adjust the position of the weapon. In my case, it's an arrow. With use of move tool and rotation tool, I place the arrow inside of the hand and adjust angle of it. To stop the arrow moving on the back, I need to copy first keyframe and paste next to the transition. As you can see, I need to make additional adjustments before I'll animate the arrow. Before I move arrow away, from the biped, I need to link it to the word. Now my arrow is unlinked and it's ready for animation. So I'll just move it away from the biped. Notice how key between links transition and animation are placed close together. This helps to create smooth motion. My animation is ready and now I can apply it to my character. Thank you.